Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm excited to be a part of Annalise's 1000 subscriber hop and giveaway. She reached 1000 subscribers on her YouTube channel called Faith Dream Create Cards. And to celebrate, she put together a video hop and giveaway with a few other crafty YouTubers. And we will be sharing projects made using her favorite technique, which is heat embossing. Plus, there will be a few giveaway prizes, so make sure you comment and subscribe at each stop along the way. Annalisa is giving away a $30 gift card to Simon Says Stamp, and I'm giving away a card making kit, which I'll share more later in this video. The hop starts Saturday, February 26th, and ends March 5th. The winners will be announced here on YouTube, and at the top of the description box, you'll find the link to the next person in the hop lineup. I hope you'll take the time to watch all the videos because we love your comments and thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing and click on the little bell so that you won't miss any of my uploads. Please check out the description box below for all of the details on how to enter. For my project, I'll be sharing how I made this quick and easy card using embossing powder with an embossing folder. I'll be using this green mirror cardstock here by Craft Perfect from Tonic Studios. When you tilt it, it changes color and I think it's just beautiful. And I'm also using this new embossing folder here from Pink and Main from their latest release. This is called Daisies and it's got these beautiful flowers and leaves. And I'm also using these two embossing powders from Ranger. This one is called Pink Tinsel and this other one is called Aqua Tinsel. And so I've trimmed the cardstock down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And the first thing I'm doing is adding some anti-static powder all over since I will be heat embossing this whole panel. And so I'm taking the embossing folder here and I'm going to be applying the clear Versamark ink to this side here where the pink is. This is the deboss side and I'm just making sure that I apply enough ink on the right side where I'll be placing the panel. This is a six by six embossing folder, so I don't necessarily need to put ink all over the whole thing, but I'm mainly focusing on putting it on the right hand side. And then I'm gonna carefully place the mirrored cardstock face down, and I'm gonna try not to move it while I close this up here. And then I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine. Isn't this so pretty? <laughs> now I'm gonna apply the pink tinsel embossing powder toward the bottom. And then I'm going to apply the aqua tinsel on the other side. I let my heat tool heat up for about 30 seconds before applying it to the cardstock. One thing I wasn't sure about was how this mirrored cardstock would react to heat. And I don't know if you can really see this on the video, but the heat is taking away some of the shine from the mirror. It's kind of making it cloudy. And here on the bottom right hand corner you'll see in just a second I accidentally left the heat on there too long so it kind of melted it and the corner curled up but that's okay because I will show you how I fixed it by trimming the panel down using some rectangle dies I gotta apply a little bit of heat to this one part where my tweezers were holding the panel Okay, so now I am using the Stitch Rope Nested Rectangle Dies by Cat Scrappiness. And I'm going to use the next to the largest die to cut this panel down. And I'm going to use my mint tape to hold it in place before running it through my die cutting machine. And I'm also going to use this scrap of glossy black cardstock. And I'm using the largest stitch rope frame to cut out a frame for the panel. And then for my sentiment, I'm using these word dies here, also from Cat Scrappiness, that say, proud of you. And I thought this was a perfect sentiment for Annalise's occasion of reaching a thousand subscribers. It has a shadow die also, and I'm going to use that on the center of that glossy black piece, since it'll be covered up, and then I'm going to cut the words out of the green mirrored cardstock. So um, I'm applying some glue to the back of the words here using um, this barely arts glue with the fine tip and uh, the glue dries clear but I tried to be super careful with it because even though it dries clear if it seeps out on that glossy cardstock it will dull it just a little bit and I ended up using a piece of white 110 pound heavyweight cardstock for my card base 
and so I had cut that in half at five and a half inches and I scored it down the middle at four and a quarter inches and I glued the black frame down first and then I added the embossed panel and it was a little bit curled up from the embossing so after applying glue to the back of the panel I decided to lay down my misty stamping platform on top on top of it while it dried to help it lay flat Next, I put some foam tape on the back of the sentiment to give it some dimension. And then to finish off the card, I added some pink and light blue starlight gems from Pink and Main. Now, even though the heat tool dulled out the green mirrored cardstock, I still think that this card turned out really pretty. I've never tried this technique before, so I was really experimenting, but I really like how this turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, tell me where you're from. Now remember, for the giveaway for my channel, I'm giving away a card making kit to my viewers in the USA. And these are just some examples of the cards that you can make with the contents in the kit. This kit is wedding themed, which is from the Our Wedding Collection by Echo Park. And the kit includes some ribbon, some twine, some embellishments, six of the white heavyweight card bases, <clears throat> some ephemera, and some matching colored card stock. And it also includes six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. This kit also comes with a printout of the sample cards that I made that I showed you. But you can make lots more cards with what's included here. And um, I will show you both sides of the paper here in just a moment. But um, I used to make cards with just a few sheets of paper in a paper pack. And I got tired of like the rest of the paper pack just sitting in my drawer. And so I decided to put some kits together with the rest of the sheets so that it wouldn't go to waste. But it has been a long time since I've put kits together and sold them. But I plan on doing some more to share this summer. So just stay tuned for that. But just remember to enter. You'll need to like and comment on each of the videos in the hop by March 5th. And winners will be chosen randomly and will be announced here on YouTube on March 6th. So make sure that you're a subscriber and turn on those notifications. And I hope you'll click on the next video in the lineup in the description box below to watch the next video. I want to congratulate Annalisa on reaching her milestone. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.